Hey, I'm Craig Connors, VP, GM, and CTO of VMware Sassy, and welcome to Sassy Live. Part two of our three-part series with BT rolls on today, where I'm chatting with John Spearman, CTO for BT Global. John, thanks for joining me today. You're welcome. So we're excited to partner with BT, and we're thrilled that you guys launched VMware Sassy last year. I'm curious, what motivated that decision from a technical perspective? In other words, what was a top engineering challenge or pain point that you needed to solve for your enterprise customers? Okay, um, well, customers are fighting on all fronts. They've sometimes built up a lot of tech debt in their networks and they need significant transformation. But you've also got massive acceleration in the migration of business apps and data to the cloud. So not only is application architecture changing, but the way in which end users want to access apps is also changing at the same time. So the network and security domains both need an overhaul at the same time to something more agile, but it really needs thinking about in the round against a common set of objectives. Um, I would also say while all this is going on, they've still got to deal with massive increases in the volume and nature of security threats. And dealing with complex customer environments and challenges like this is at the heart of what we do in BT. And we know that transforming at pace and transforming at scale are vital aspects of delivering outcomes to the business. But to get there, you've really got to engineer the solution at the outset with these objectives in mind. Thanks. You know, as a software engineer in my background, we use tech debt a lot referring to the code. I love that term applied to the network. That's that's super interesting. Can you also tell me how VMware SASE helped BT overcome those challenges? Yeah, so a, a key aspect of VMware's approach really is to bring the network, the cloud connectivity and the security together in the carrier neutral facilities which is actually directly alongside the BT network, as well as where all the major cloud providers are. So the use of CNFs for infrastructure hosting is really aligned to our strategy and architecture. And because you've got all of these elements co-located and service chain, you can take incremental steps and then ramp it up when you're more comfortable. So you can deliver things like zero trust network access quite quickly, which is often a significant milestone against an overall um, zero trust um, strategy. And I would say having the combined dashboard for both SD-WAN and um, security makes upskilling and adoption that little bit easier. And then, of course, from a deployment perspective, we can use the same tunnels for SD-WAN and security. So we don't need to build separate tunnels or have a complex policy to manage all of the traffic flows. And you're getting things like the unmanaged client, which provides secure remote access without a lot of hassle for the IT teams. So this converged architecture really speeds up provisioning, speeds up runtime operations, which are both vital aspects of delivering outcomes back into the business. That's fascinating. Thanks so much for sharing that with me, John. This was awesome. I really appreciate your time and your insights. That's a wrap for today. Be sure to join us next week as our three-part series with BT concludes, featuring a chat between Avan Kuma, who's the VP of Product Management for VMware SASE, and Kostas Rigis, who's the head of business development of BT Global Services. They'll explore operational benefits of VMware SASE. See you there.